Like I try to put people's names like this, like Carol in the heart. That's pretty good work, bro. Carol, it's Carol. Yeah. Who's um, Carol? Huh? Who is Carol? Oh, that's a neighbor of mine. She's very nice to me. Very you have a crush on her? Huh? Do you have a crush on her? Oh, she's an old, 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 old woman. Oh. Grandma. Then why do you draw Carol too much? No, I was doing her name. So only two pages. But I'm working on this thing here. So I my question is, her. why would you draw her name if you don't have a crush on her? Because I like to do people's names. Oh. So that's your passion, is to just to draw other people's Draw, names. design, things like that. I see that you do love too much. Do you yeah, believe in love? Now I got some here that was looking at this guy from Starbucks. Like no, I'm seven, talking about seven. love. Like most of most of your sketches yeah, I know, are love. I'm working on a design, that's what Why love exactly? Why the heart and love? That's what I'm asking for. Beautiful Why thing. exactly? It's a beautiful thing, but you know, it's better than hate. Do you believe in love? Do you believe that love exists nowadays? Yeah, man. Really? Because you just proved it right now. Mark. By giving you a hundred bucks. By giving me uh, his, his heart and saying that I love you. Money shit. I hate money. <laughs> Mark. So, like, let me ask you a question then. Like, no offense at all, because I've been in your situation so many times. You sitting in here, when someone comes and give you whatever they give you, and like they trying to get something out of you from what they gave you. Do you feel that offensive or do you feel it like, oh, I want to pass my experience and knowledge to other people? Yeah, talking, things like that. Yeah. So what, if, if you have one thing that you would tell all people right now, what would it be? To have more tolerance. Okay, that makes sense, especially in New York. Yeah. And to see the other side, try to understand other people. Other people's pain. Makes sense. Pain. Makes sense. Pain is a bitch. Man. Oh yeah, Our definitely. Bitch. How old are you, man? I'm, I'm 55 now. Wow, you Yo. do not look 55 or, whatsoever, Yo. man. And the dude I met earlier today, he just turned 55 right now at midnight. Bro, you look like you're in your 30s. Uh -huh. It's crazy. Or, you are young, bro, and you gifted, bro. I have you a, are very gifted. I get a lot of girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine, man. I love her mom. <laughs> <laughs> my man. <laughs> I like your art, my man, and uh, you should yeah, definitely keep up with it, especially yeah. that Batman stuff. Like, you are very yeah, accurate with another, it. Another guy wants you to do something. You are very accurate with the, with, with the drones, like, bro. Like, it's like a... But I want to do shirts with the love thing and um, pajamas with the love, different designs, of them. different colors, and I know it sells. I see a lot of potentials. The thing, the, the reason I'm talking to you, my man, is because I see a lot of potentials that should have been yes. um, had its attention that it deserves. But I like, want to, a lot of shit. Right now, the government thinks I'm dead. Um, <laughs> they think I died because someone stole my identity and that person died. Whoa. With my name, oh, wow. social information. So then they reported that he's dead and now I'm having such the hardest time you trying to get a job. So you and have no um, documentation well, whatsoever. I'm trying uh when I found out about the IRS is they have a form called uh, a DT 275 and uh it's uh to say that you're home is uh Okay. Um, they do have programs for that, yeah. So I, I found out about it and I sent it in recently. So I should get word back. And then I, last year, in the summer, I took my COVID shots. The health department calls me and say, hey, listen. Well, you took the vaccination? The vaccine, yeah. Oh, wow. The, they say, hey, well, we have information that you're deceased. But I said, well, I'm not deceased. You're talking to me right now. But, and I explained to the person the problem, you know. So it's, it's uh, really... Uh, so let me ask you that one question. If there's one thing you would change in your life, what would it be? Nothing. Nothing at all? You like the way your life going, right? I, because through this process, I've learned so much. Oh my God. And it's made me who I am. And every time I learn something, even in my faults, I learn something great. Oh wow. I carry it. And I 
and I won't change anything. Because if I, I if I changed, I wouldn't be. I know you wouldn't be the person you are yeah, right now. Yeah. And I have I, I have such a big heart and a lot of love that it's just. We have big hearts too, man. Or, right right or, yo, don't let the physical define you, bro. Exactly. I see you like this, bro, and I'll be like, no, you're wealthy, bro. Exactly. You, you rich, bro. It don't matter if you're sleeping in the street or if in a bed, bro, or somewhere. I try to look my best, you know. Or, you do look great, man. Good. What do you think the government that could do better to, like, oh, help man. people in your position? You gotta though. get on the ball with this homelessness because it's just... Like, how? Bro. Yo, it's just too much on depth to start... Okay, I, people, what, what can I do to help you? I think that they should give everyone a SRO, a single room occupancy. Don't put just put people like in a, uh, uh, like a jail type of space with mm -hmm. beds and, you know, that's just too good. Because mm -hmm. everyone deserves their privacy. Or, it's you important. know, it might not look on me right now, but I've been to a homeless shelter before. Yes. Uh, when I moved to New York, I had like $200 over. And a friend of mine recommended that I go to a shelter. I went to a shelter, and I understand why a lot of homeless people don't go to a shelter. It's because it's like a prison. It's terrible. It's like a fucking prison. It's drugs. I got robbed inside the shelter. And me as a person right now who is not a homeless and who is able to actually do something, I would recommend and I would actually fight for um, making or creating better programs for people like yourself where they could have a place to sleep and they don't feel like they are locked up or they are on a, you know, in a prison or anything where they feel like, oh, I should be on the streets instead of being with these fucking assholes because they treat people really bad in there. I know exactly what you're going through. You got more time sometimes in children. Been through it. Oh, man. I hope you find a home soon, man. That's great. Oh, I, will. I will. I gotta get this identity theft fixed, really. That's the major thing that's missing. Mm -hmm. But it's like these people, they don't bureaucracy man and the red tape man it's amazing like nobody wants to do anything like they don't care at all they just freaking crazy not at all. and i'm trying Especially to explain nowadays. the situation it's like oh my god no. so i'm trying to see if i speak to a, a reporter to get my story on the, or the one day man listen i believe hardly believe that whatever you deserve will get to you no matter what you do have to pursue it. You do have to wander around to look for it. But at the same time, if it meant for you, it'll happen no matter so what. One thing I do is I don't harm anybody. I don't rob nobody. I don't do exactly. Shit. Mm -hmm. That's, That's not exactly what if I you don't, to do. Exactly. If you don't violate nobody, nobody's going to harm you. Yeah. Yeah. But I can violate every time. I mean, in the subway, you know, but I know what you're saying. like, it's not, it's not going to be the end of but you. But all that stuff, I take it as well. a learning experience. Hey, let me tell you about a singer. You know a singer called Ed Sheeran? Ed, Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. He's a singer. He's from uh, the from United us, Kingdom. From the United Kingdom. Yes. This guy slept on the subway his entire life. And he used to like have a guitar with him and sleep just like you, which is nothing bad with, like nothing wrong with it. But he used to do that all the time he sleeps on the subway he wakes up play guitar for people that are coming by to ride the subway and then one time this producer walks by through the subway and discovered him and right now Ed Sheeran is very fucking famous he's like making millions of dollars it's like a Nirvana so like Kirk, exactly Kirk. so like yeah exactly so like if 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 you have a chance that is waiting for you, whether it's drawing or like singing or whatever it is, you'll get it one day, man. You'll get the recognition, like you, you'll get the chance that you deserve one day. Oh, I will. It's just up to you whether you take it or not. You know what I mean? Fly with it. Yeah, fly, bro. Hey, you smoke cigarettes, man? You want a couple of cigarettes? Yeah, bro. Guys, so, so. Oh, no problem, man. Oh, I actually oh, have right, only one so. pack here. Yeah, no. Get in the pack, man. Get in the pack, man. Yeah. Um, Where are you guys at? Uh, home, back home. We're going home. We yeah, actually, I had a nice time tonight. 
Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> we had a beautiful night. We had a very interesting <laughs> night today. <laughs> One for the books, man. And Trust you me. actually, believe it or not, you just made our night. You changed the vibe for us. I told so you. It's crazy. Energy, bro. Like it's right now, we forgot completely about what the fuck yes. going on in the whole night, and we just focused on you, bro. All our problems go away when we focused on love, bro. I, I wish I had my sketchbook to show you my work. Bro. I would have sat right there with you and saw like collaboration. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you gonna be here for the next few days? Uh, yeah. Okay, I might come back. Maybe right. a couple of days. Okay. I'll definitely come back. Alright, so don't you forget this. Draw but something if you together. ever want to see me, I'm on East 77th Street in Starbucks. East 77th Street in yeah. Starbucks. 6th train, get up to 77. It's Starbucks okay. is right there, I'm right there. Oh, we'll be there. Because the people in Starbucks, yeah. are based on your friends with them. Oh, yeah, the definitely. manager, the workers. I go in there and they say, hey, Sammy. I'm like, no. <laughs> and people look at me like, who's that? Is that the manager? The boss, no. <laughs> and I do things for you know, whatever. You know. You're great, my man. And one day you will be way better and in, in a better spot than oh, yeah. where you at right now. Uh, it might be a good spot for you. I'm not. You know what I mean? Because some people enjoy whatever they do. You know what I mean? Whatever, however their life goes, they just enjoy it. They're not like. They don't look for anything fancy. You might be enjoying the life you're living, but I always, as a good person, I wish the best and the best for you Thanks. always, man. Thanks. Oh, Thanks. what was your name again? Samuel. 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 Moose. Moose. Very nice to meet you. Man. But man, Josué. 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 Nice to meet you, brother.